Hey yo, cosplay Tokyo viewers, how are you doing? Dragon Cats here. October just passed away. It's a very busy month for us cosplayers, and this month, October, November, November is just kind of chill. You know, we we we're dead because like you know we use all our soul gems in October back then. But but December is gonna be busy again. So and we have like a lot of major event going on in December. So cosplay Tokyo have already listed out six select event for you to attend on the month of December. Now some of the event kind of coincide. They happen in almost the same time, but. You know, you can manage it, no problem. So here are the six events you would like to go to on December, curated by Cosplay Tokyo. And today I'm with my friend here, Tiffany from Philippines, and she's cosplaying as Selim from Al Noa Zero today. Anyway, we have our list here. I'm just, I have my little notes here. So first on our uh, event list, uh, Tokyo Comic Con, December two to. Four. So, Tiff, are you gonna come into this one as well? Yeah, I'm going on the third. Oh, yeah, and we're gonna see Stan Lee. Excelsior! Oh. Mm -hmm. Senpai sama, sensei. Yeah, so the Comic Con on December 2 to 4, and the admission fee is. It's. 1,800 1, yen if you ah. get the tickets in advance. They're, they're selling the tickets online. And then I believe it's around 2,000? Yeah. 2,200 yen, 2, 2, yen and there's at the an door. At the door. And there's an extra fee if you are if you want to cosplay and you have to use the changing room. That's like 500 yen mm -hmm. for the cosplay changing room. So. Yeah, there's a 500 yen fee for the cloakroom and the changing room. So you want to keep that in mind. So you want to... Uh, set aside that budget if you want to cosplay in Tokyo Comic Con, which is in Big Side? No, Makuhari Mese. Makuhari Mese. Yeah, sorry, I'm, my brain is so bored now. So, cosplay Tokyo Comic Con in Makuhari Mese, Chiba. So, if you like American or Western genre of the pop culture, you don't want to miss this event. And me and Piff will be there. So, mm -hmm. check us out, message us. And say hi when we got there. <laughs> awesome. And next in our list is Jump Festa on the 17th to 18th. Seven. Also at Makuhari Mess. Oh, 17th to 18th and Makuhari Mess. Now, I don't have personal experience coming to this one, but Tiffany had. So, what did your uh, experience when you come to the last Jump Festa? Okay, the last time I attended was two years ago, but I think the information should still be the same. Admission is free. And there's no extra fee to cosplay, but the thing is that they don't have a designated cosplay dressing room. And when I ask the staff, so what do the cosplayers do? How do they arrive at the venue? And they said that it's up to the cosplayers. I never really figured out where they got changed, but yeah, that's one thing to keep in mind, that there's no dressing room, but it's kind of... It's not, not kind of, it's frowned upon over here to take the train in costumes. So you might have to find somewhere nearby to change. Yeah, you have to, you will have to change the, you know, usually change in the uh, uh, toilet of the venue. May, most likely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like the station near the venue, something like that. So yeah, you would want uh, con to consider your logistics. But yeah. hey, if you have any experience uh, coming there uh, last year, or if you have experience coming to the previous Jump Festa, like share us out, like let us know if we miss any information because we would love to talk with you guys. Oh, uh, well, regarding that, um, as the name implies, it's an event for Shonen Jump series. So the cosplays, your costumes should be limited to characters from Shonen Jump manga, like Naruto, Naruto Bleach. Jojo. Jojo counts, even though it's not published in Shonen Jump right now. Oh yeah, that's what you say. There's a lot of Jojo cosplayers, mm -hmm. right? So yeah, if you're a Jojo fan, you should really check this event out. So yeah, and next, uh, we have a uh, Tokyo Cosplay Meetup. Tokyo Cosplay Meetup. Hey, Hazuki! In Studio Crown Akihabara. Usually, it's around 2,500 yen-ish. So yeah, uh, unfortunately, me and Alex will have to skip this one because we have other schedule. But uh, you should really check this out. It's usually really fun. I mean, like, if you, like we went, we, like, we 
went to a lot of the cos- Tokyo cosplay meetup, and that's how we met. Hmm. So yeah, I mean, you you come there last time. Um, yeah. not last year, but I was there in 2014. That's how I got to meet Alex. It's a chance to meet cosplayers in a more intimate atmosphere than a convention. Because the the venue is smaller and it's mainly about socializing. Of course, you can also shoot in the shooting area, but it's mainly about socializing, which is really rare in Japanese events, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because Japanese events is more about like coming there, posing, have your picture taken, going back. But like uh, Tokyo's uh, cosplay meetup is a bit different. This is your chance to make friends with. Uh, Japanese cosplayers or like you know expat cosplayer like us who've been living in Japan. So yeah, be sure to come and check this out. It's in seventeenth uh, of September in Akihabara. December. December? Sorry, seventeenth of December in Akihabara. Uh, so it's in a uh, Studio Crown, our lovely Studio Crown, my favorite studio ever. So yeah, check it out, and we can link you in the description to the cos- Tokyo Cosplay Meetup uh, event page. So. Say RSVP. Don't forget. And next is a uh, Comic Cat, twenty ninth to thirty first of December. <laughs> uh, I mean, we uh, me and Tiff were there last time, and it was pretty nice, isn't it? Like the weather is yeah, the, the weather, weather is, is good compared to the summer Comic Cat. Oh, summer Comic Cat is hell. Yeah. So if you wanna cosplay in the Comic Cat and you wanna brag about it, like the winter is definitely a lot more recommended than the summer ones. Oh, I mean, we cosplay there with Angela, our other resident cosplayer, and that's the time where we get uh. People left out this free pocket warmers, mm-hmm. and that's nice is, of them. That's really sweet. Yeah, and yeah, Comic-Con, Comic-Con is always like the chaotic fun as usual. But if you want like epic cosplay picture taken, you should check out the neighborhood event of neighboring event neighboring event of Comic Cat, which is Tonari Kosu, also on the same time, twenty ninth to the thirty first of December. So uh, I have the experience of coming there, on summer, and it was so nice. Like you can, the like the area is really wide, and you can take a lot of epic cosplay picture with your cosplay group. And it's a lot less crowded, right? Because you have to pay for admission. Yes, uh, we have to pay for admission. So unlike Comic Cat, where it's free and you only pay. Uh, for the changing room for eight hundred yen, the Tonari cost you pay about. 2,000 yen something. We will link you to the Tonari Cost website uh, in the description below. But it's really not expensive. And you get this really spacious changing room. You get a cloak room. And, you know, it's really not crowded. It's a more ideal condition and environment to do your cosplay and epic photo shooting in. So it's and, really nice. And one One major draw of Tonari de Cos, uh-huh. based on what I've been hearing, is that its hours run much longer than Comic Cat. Because Comic Cat, Comic Cat ah, is like right. from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Yep. But Tonari de Cos goes on until night time. It goes on until 9 p.m. Believe it or not, it goes on until 9 p.m. So what the people do is that they usually cosplay in Comic Cat during the day, and in the evening they migrate to Tonari de Cos. So you can also do that, or you can spend all day in Tonari de Cos, which is honestly, if you don't, if you're not a sh- shopping, if you're not shopping for doujinshi and you just want to cosplay, it's a lot of fun. Oh, also, uh, the cosplay magazine Cos Mode is usually having an annual photo booth there, so they will approach cosplayers randomly. So if they think your costume is epic enough, they will approach you and they will ask to. Take your picture in their special cosplay booth. So watch out for those people because you could be appearing in a magazine, right? So that's for a uh, Comic Cat and Tonari de Cos. And next is the last one, OG Fox Parade, which is cosplay and traditional event at one. Yeah, I think for me it's more like costuming. It's not yeah. cosplay per se because you don't have to go as say an anime character, but it's a costume parade. Yeah, like, it's a costume parade, and the theme is fox. 
And that's a pretty interesting way to spend the new year or count down to the new year. Yeah, if you're ever doing a countdown with few hundred, few dozen other people dressing in kimono and, you know, being a wear fox on New Year in Japan, up out in the street, it's really, really interesting and surreal experience. And like, it's actually Tiffany Hotel in, who introduced me to that event. And we are there because we're both spending the New Year in Japan and want something different. So we went to this uh, OG Fox Parade. Uh, the registration, if you want to join the parade, you have to register and it's in Japanese, It's right? in Japanese. Yeah, and... unfortunately the website is in Japanese. But you know what? Nothing Google Translate cannot do. And yeah. another thing is that um, they only accept a limited number of of applicants so the application could close at any time but it opens around late November yep and the only condition for joining would be to dress up in wafu which means Japanese attire so something like a kimono a ha- haori or haori. whatever as long as it has something fox related so you can wear a fox mask Fox, fox ears, hat, fox ear, fox makeup, mm-hmm. which I, I did all of them. I used the fox mask, the fox makeup, and the fox ear, which is really fun. And it's one of my favorite epic uh, wafu cosplay, actually. And like uh, Tiffany also did re- did this really cute uh, foxy oiran cosplay, which is so cool. So yeah, uh, maybe we will be there. So shut us out. And it's a really interesting, it's a really typical Japanese experience it's quite surreal actually so uh and it's just different it's not like the typical pop culture cosplay Mm. but of course by all means if you can make it fox related you can do a typical pop culture cosplay as long as it's wafu as As long long as as it's wafu it has to be traditional traditional, it has in it it needs to have a traditional of uh, element of traditional Japanese attire in it. So, yeah, keep that in mind. And uh, if you're not sure about, like, you know, what's okay and what not, you can uh, ask us. Like, send the Cosplay Tokyo message and if you're confused about some things. So, yeah. Oh, and one more thing. It's what, uh, the weather. It's pretty cold, isn't it, that time? Yeah, it's cold, so... Yeah. So, of course, take care and wear something. Wear thick. something. Wear, wear a lot of warmers. Like, those pocket warmers, like, wear it all over your body. Or, you know, wear something really warm. Mm-hmm. Yep. And also, even though it's a costume parade, one thing to keep in mind is that this was based on some folklore and traditions. So the parade has a, still a pretty solemn ambience. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they do play some festive music, but it's not like it's not really like a pop culture event. That's actually why they want you to yeah, dress up in it's traditional more attire. Traditional, so you have to respect the tradition side of it and mm-hmm. go into it and enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Like, because, it's a procession. Yeah. So, yeah. It's a um, religious procession. So, while, of course, you can wave to the cameras and all, you still have to, well, abide by the rules and behave. Yeah. Behave and respect the tradition side of it. Mm. Uh, Dragon Cat and Tifa have joined the parade last year? No, two yeah, years? last year. Last year, we joined the parade. So, you can ask about our experience there. So yeah, that's all the six event that you can expect to in December curated by Cosplay Tokyo. So yeah, thank you for today, Tiff. Mm, no problem. Thanks yeah. for having me. And see you around. Oh, subscribe to our channel and of course follow Tiffany's the cute Tiffany Instagram Matcha Ole. You can see it in the description. Send us message, send us out, subscribe, and bring your friends to subscribe to us. See you around. Hey yo, Cosplay Tokyo! How are you guys doing? So it's already September and you know, as you know before, we already... It's what? November. Oh shit, it's November! Party on! Ready to <laughs> September! Party on! Okay. <laughs> Bobo!